Hello, YouTube. Good morning, YouTube. Arizona are you here? Riding around on a beautiful holiday weekend, bank holiday in the United States. Ah, look at Tucson. Well, YouTube and GoPro will probably distort it, but you can see all the buildings downtown over there. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning. And I have someone who loves to observe the speed limit on this road. <laughs> Man, that's nuts. Uh, Should have got out earlier. <laughs> Should have got out earlier. This person's riding their brakes all the way down the hill. Wow. Okay, well, since I gotta have your guys' attention here. <laughs> I saw a commercial pop up on a YouTube video the other day. Now, normally I try and click past those things as soon as I can. This is one of those, you know, it makes you watch a good 12 seconds of it before it cuts out or before it gives you the skip option. And it hooked me. It totally hooked me. And, I, you know, I, <laughs> of course, right now, I'm struggling to remember what the name was. Um, I want to say it was the Billion Dollar Solution or the, the, the Billion Dollar Fix or something like that. But uh, maybe you guys have seen it, and if you hadn't, go look for it, because it's actually pretty interesting, and I'll tell you why. It's, uh, it's about the, well, it's not about him as much as it's about what he's doing. And the creator, the idea guy, the one who created the company, 5-Hour Energy. And if you guys aren't familiar with this, or you, some of my subs outside of the United States, there's a little drink... And I don't know what it is, like a, like a little two-ounce bottle that they sell on the countertops of convenience stores all over this country. And it's called Five Hour Energy. And basically, it does what it says it's going to do. It, it, it's a combination of caffeine and a lot of other, you know, sort of pseudo-organic uh, mixtures. And the concoction, basically, it's like drinking three or four or five cups of coffee all at once. And it's supposed to be like time released so that you're not just bang, hit, super jittery, so that it gives you energy for, say, five hours. And their whole advertising gimmick has been for busy people, you know, at the end of the day, that two o'clock, three o'clock slump if you're a nine to fiver. And uh, you pop that and you'll be good the rest of the evening. You won't have that worn out at the end of the day feeling. Now, you know, say what you will about intake of caffeine and whatnot, uh, Americans have consumed this product. And, and over just a handful of years, this guy quickly became a multi-billionaire. And uh, he's, he's a U.S. citizen of Indian descent. I believe he, he may have naturalized to the United States at some point. Um, but anyway, he decided to take his $4 billion and he kept 1% of it for himself uh, to live off of and support his family and everything. And the rest of it he is donating, but not in the usual way. So what he's done is he's taken this design company and he's hired designers from all over the world for people to create inventions that help folks in their lives. So the idea behind it is this, that, uh, you know, it, it's, it's really philanthropy to a whole new level because he doesn't just want people to invent cool stuff. He wants them to invent things that improve people's lives. And they have. They've come up with some stellar inventions. For example, they have this uh, recumbent bike that you can put uh, in a space about the size of a small closet. And if someone rides that bike for an hour every day, you, your household will have 24 hours of electricity. And, and, and it's, it's, like, it's like science fiction stuff, man. 
And he's come up with a couple other ones too. They've come up with a desalinization process that doesn't pollute. And, you know, have re in the past, desalinization plants have taken these huge plants in order to create uh, lots of clean, drinkable water. But what they've done here is they've refined that process down to something about the size of, say, a Dodge Caravan or a small van. And as a result, uh, they could put many of these in one place or make them portable by putting them on a barge. And so they could travel around the world giving fresh water to people in places where they can't get fresh water, maybe even responding to disasters, natural disasters and things like that. I mean, it's just super brilliant stuff. I mean, it's this is to totally, if you guys are like uh, superhero nerds, all right, this is totally like what Tony Stark wishes he could do, is basically what this guy's doing. He's come up with another thing, this contraption that, that designed off of the... Uh, off of the pressurized suits that pilots wear to keep their circulation going when they're pulling heavy G's. And what it does is, is it, it monitors your heart and then beats in concert with it. But it beats opposite your heartbeat and pumps blood out of your legs and increases your cardiovascular health. And because it promotes circulation, a lot of ailments that people normally suffer due to aging and disease are fixed without having to take medications or anything like that, just with a, a one or two hour treatment of this thing on a day. And previously, devices like that, uh, if they weren't in the cockpit of an airplane, they were, they were huge. They like had to be housed in an entire room. And they've con condensed this thing to about the size of a dishwasher. All right, so they're really coming up with stuff to improve people's lives. And I just thought I'd mention it on here because most of us skip through these ads and these uh, videoettes that they put in front of our favorite moto vloggers and videos on YouTube. So if you guys happen to see this, uh, definitely take a look at it because I was totally impressed and it really speaks to the... Uh, it really speaks to the heart, you know. So many people, they, they amass their wealth, and then uh, everything they do subsequent to that is typically, you know, growing their wealth or uh, holding on to the wealth that they've got. And this guy's not, he's, believe me, they're still running the five-hour energy company because that's funding his project. That's what's funding his project. So, uh, but he's employing thousands of people and paying them well so that their their brains are constantly dedicated to the art of helping other people. I just, wow, wow, is that a mouthful. So I just thought I'd come on and vlog about that, not because I didn't have anything else to vlog about, but it just, it struck me that hard. I mean, really, that's what philanthropy is all about. And uh, the responsibility of acquiring more wealth than most small nations. What the f*** are you doing? Hey, turn signal. Imagine that shit.